What? What? Where are we? We're, we're alive? Roger that, sir. Cooper, how long have you been up for? About an hour or so. Just keeping a lookout. Checked your vitals and didn't want to rush you all to get up. But the whole we fell? That's right. What in the heavens is all this material? I have no idea, sir. Bet backwards if you ask me. We appear to be in Sector 9D. That doesn't make sense. And we were far below ground level before we even fell into that pit. Not to mention the fall. If it wasn't for this patch of material, the fall would have surely been fatal. Honestly, I'm more shocked that we're alive than anything else. Ah, oh, that stairway. Paradoxical indeed. If this unknown material's all over the lab, then that means, that means there's another breach. Exactly how many items are in this facility? Well, it's complicated. No, it's not. It's a very simple question. Nobody who works in this laboratory truly has 100% clearance. How is that possible? There's got to be someone around here who knows what's going on. That's the thing. Whoever this person is, is pretty much an enigma around here. Mind if I bring up some water cooler talk, doctor? Oh, might as well at this point, Sergeant. I'm feeling a bit more relaxed after just cheating death. My squad, before they met a nasty fate. We used to have conversations about the things we heard. And what exactly did you hear? The man that runs the compound. The enigma you were referring to. He is an SCP himself. That's ridiculous, Cooper. Yeah, that can't be. Well, where did you hear this information in the first place? Corporal O'Reilly. When he got moved up to level two, he said some of the higher ranking officials were chatting about the site director. If he or she was an SCP item, they would be contained. You know, protocol. Well, they are. Nobody has ever seen the person that runs this place outside this facility. Yeah, but that's different. Doctor, you ever heard of mind control? They want us to think they are who we think they are. In reality, they aren't. Sergeant, keep your head, please. He makes a point. This whole experience has sort of changed my worldview. Now you're both being ridiculous. Uni, have you ever met your boss? Well, yes. Of course I have. Really? Well, not in person, but we've had long conversations over email. Told you. Oh my god. Now that doesn't mean anything. It's a huge company. They can't be meeting everybody on a daily basis. Your boss is totally a robot. Look, we don't have the time to be conspiring in. Wherever we are, we need to get moving so that we can find 173. What if it didn't even go this way? Like I said, it's the only way it could have gone. And if this is some paradox and we were just shot right back up into the facility? I suppose it could be anywhere then. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Nevertheless, your job isn't done yet. I'm locked and loaded, sir. Let's do this. <sighs> yep, hoorah and all that jazz. This way. Doctor! Doctor! I'll have to stop you right there! What's the meaning of this? I believe you're escorting some folks without proper clearance into a level 2 facility. Hope you understand that there has been a containment breach and we need, need to maintain proper procedures. At least that's what I'm assuming you were going to say. I- Now Doctor, I understand you may be new here, but we have a way of doing things and a protocol that is strict. Consequences of breaking such a protocol are far worse than simply uh, termination, I assure you. Look, we were just trying to- I was speaking with the doctor, Level Zero. Level Zero? I, I have a name. Not anymore, you don't. Not one that matters, anyway. The facility has been shut down. It will remain shut down until higher-ranking officials than ourselves come to re-secure quarantines. 
The nearest base is in Washington, so we'll be in the lockdown for seven plus hours. If I were you, I would get back to your post. Once they find out who is responsible for the containment breach, well, I feel sorry for that guy. <laughs> 173 has escaped and we have reason to believe he's gone this way. Uh, 173? Oh god, we need to warn the others, this isn't a joke. Yeah, no kidding. That's what we're trying to tell you. There will be a mobile task force showing up at any minute to take care of it. Who are you kidding? Nobody's prepared to deal with this kind of threat. How did you guys even get access to this part of the facility? It's complicated. If you'll excuse me, seeing as there's a containment breach, I need to check on some things. <sighs> this isn't good, guys. Hyperventilating isn't going to help you, so just calm down. I'm sure the higher-ups will be reasonable about this. Reasonable? Reasonable? I'll be lucky if they let me choose my own form of execution. I think you're exaggerating. You don't know the people we're dealing with here. Well, maybe we can pay off that doctor. Or at least do him a favor. Something to get him to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> That alarm is a bit slow, huh? No, there's a different alarm per sector. That means another Adam escaped. Uh-oh. Hurry, this way. we got to get help. Ugh, fine. We're coming, Mr. What's-Your-Face. Stupid, stupid, stupid! There he is. Are you all right? <clears throat> yes, uh, yes, of course. I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you totally don't sound fine. Shut up! I'm fine. I'm fine. Why did the alarm sound? Had your subject escaped? Was it Class D personal? It... Uh, it was nothing. A slip-up. I don't think that's how alarms work. Look, if it wasn't for your item getting loose, this wouldn't have happened! My item? What? Does... Wait, what? <sighs> 049. He... He got out. 049? Are you kidding me? You guys have 049 here? How does this guy know about 049? I really don't know. Look, point is, you guys gotta help me. Weren't you just planning on ratting on Uni? Now you're asking for our help? He makes a good point. Why should we help you? Look, I'm, I'm sorry about before. I just really take this job seriously. I guess you and Uni have something in common. If you help me find 049, I won't tell anyone about 087 escaping because of your complete and utter negligence. Though I think the wording could use some improvement, you got yourself a deal. Fantastic. Now we just need to find out where he went. Well, what is 049? He's a humanoid that looks like a 15th century plague doctor. His touch is lethal and he possesses the power of reanimating corpses. Oh, delightful. He's quite the character, isn't he? I was assigned to him previously. Trust me, I know. Worse yet, he's been changing. Changing how? We did some experiments, let him interact with other items under close uh, supervision. Honestly, that sounds like a terrible idea. That's what I said, but Level 5 wanted to see more progress in our research. Okay, so if you were 049, where would you go? Hmm, well, actually, he did start to seem more happy after talking to that mask. Mask? 035. These numbers are starting to make my brain hurt. Object class, heater. A white porcelain comedy mask. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. That can possess any human form and secretes a vile liquid that decays anything it comes in contact with. Okay, I give up. So where's that? Guys, we've got company. His victims, basically reanimated corpse that he does his experiments on. Delightful. Again. Should I open fire? No, no. We don't know what items have escaped at this point. It's best to keep quiet. Hurry, this way. We can lock ourselves inside the one-sided mirror room. Oh no, here they come. Quick, hurry!
Oh boy, that was a close call. So I'm guessing the guy in the mask is 035? And sure enough, he's talking with the plague doctor. Maybe they get along so well coming from the same timeline. I'm not trying to make them Match.com profiles. I just want to see how we can contain them. Those two together? Who knows what they're up to? Maybe they're just friends. Okay, or not. Worse yet, the comm has been busted. We can't talk to them. What good is talking going to do? We need to take action. Okay, Sergeant. The backup block can be triggered inside the room. Silly design decision, but I think you should uh, go secure it. Oh, uh, me? I, uh... Clearly someone has to go in there and uh, defuse the situation. Sergeant, since you're so quick to want to take action, perhaps that someone could be you. But, but... Hold on, you're being ridiculous. It's standard protocol, Doctor. Whoever has the lowest security clearance has to go in. Okoye is clearly the one with the lowest clearance. Uni, why? Oops. How about we send him in then? We should draw straws. Straws? Where are we going to get straws? Look, it's it's fine. I I'll just go in. You don't have to do this. No, it it's my job. I signed up for it. I'll do it. Atta boy. Look, just stay close to the door, and if they attempt to make a move, get out of there. All right, here goes nothing. Dear boy, I think we're about to have a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> 